Good morning guys. Welcome back to the Arctivet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor and today we have something very special for you from Yaita. A company reached out and they wanted me to help them. So here we are. Let's turn you guys around and show you what we're working with today. They seem to have done it. Yep. Three people on. We've got Dora the Explorer, our 2016 Ford Explorer here. And what we will be doing today is putting on some crossbars that this company offers and I have a link down in my description below and so I've got the box opened up here and as you can see it's for a 2016 to 2019 Ford Extra uh, Explorer that's the instruction manual and also with it you get all of the hardware you even get the allen keys that you're going to need which I figured out that the black ones are a five millimeter and the small ones are a four millimeter. Uh, so the silver screws there. And then we have some little uh, gaskets. Now, we are going to be unpacking these, which are all, I've got one unpacked so I can show you real quick what it looks like. Now it tells you which way to go so this will go forward on the driver's side and then my son here has the bars in his hand and they're nicely wrapped up in there mm -hmm. so let's get this stuff all cleaned up ready to go and get on top of the roof and show you that all right so looking over the instructions real real quick here we'll go through this together up top but on each roof rack we have to remove eight of the cover bolts um, then we're going to position the rear crossbar onto the left and right roof rack adjust the right stay in or out until it fits securely into the position i want to show you guys these before we go over go and do it and then step three secure the crossbar the rear using the uh, four bolts and allen keys keys in the package position the front crossbar onto the left and right install it the same way as the rear five secure the rear cross mount uh, crossbar to the roof using the four bolts and allen keys so you have we have um, a few positions that we can do here and uh, we'll go up top real quick and I'll show you guys but what I want to note while we're down here is that they say forward on them. These will go on the driver's side. And these ones say forward as well. And they will go on the passenger side. Now our bars are also marked. This one says front. So this is the front bar. And this one says rear. This is the rear bar. So let's go ahead and get these put together real quick which will be pretty easy because if we turn, we'll take this rear and these little bolts um, holes are gonna go down the bottom like so. So if we find the corresponding bracket, which is that one, that will go to that end. And this one right here will go right there. So what we're gonna do is take that one, flip it over and slide it on just like that. Now we don't want to tighten these yet, but I'm going to put the uh, silver bolts in here just to hold it in. So let me get those out right fast. We're going to get a washer and a bolt. And then just slowly start screwing that in. This one is that 4 millimeter I was telling you about. I don't want to screw it in all the way, but just partly, just part of the way, 
just enough to hold to hold it on and then once we get it up on the top see how this still this will still move that's how we'll make the adjustments so we'll go to the other side do the same thing is assembled and ready to go so now we're gonna do the same thing with the front bar but um, I'm gonna pause it and then we'll, I'll take you guys up top and show you how we're gonna put them on the vehicle all right so now we have our bars both put together and we're gonna put these gaskets on here now you're gonna want to punch out the little holes the circle holes there and then what we're going to do set you guys down right here real quick we're going to peel back this little paper piece right here so you want to peel that back just like this because now this is a sticky side and we're going to stick it right on there lining up those holes so it will look I'm gonna use the bottom as my guide so then it will look something like that and we're gonna do that for all four so same thing we're just gonna peel off the back and stick it right on there and it'll look like this and then you just push it on there nice and good and this will help protect your rail let's cut to that all right a quick note on these little eight covers that we have to pull off here um they are a t30 now technically you might be able i'm gonna get you guys up here show you so these guys right here we have to take those out i actually have these little tie down ones in here and we just twist those and they will come out these ones you can some of them you can just twist them with your finger if you can't um you can try a screwdriver you could flat try a flathead because you can get it right in there and just twist it just like so or if you do have a t30 torx bit you can go ahead and use that guy and usually once you get it out enough it's just a little plastic piece so it does come out nice and easy set that guy aside and then we're going to move to the back and back here we are going to remove this one and this one so i gotta break that loose so we're going to take eight of these little things out unless you have some of these like i do and then just like that in the back these are the last two so i'll go over there and i'll do the same thing and then we will be ready to put in our bars all right so now we have all of those out and these are ready for us this is where these black bolts will come in handy and our five millimeter or the bigger allen key that they send um, in the package so if you have a hand if you have somebody to help you it helps out um, but you can do this one handed i like i am right now we're just going to line up these holes and what i'm going to do is I'm going to take these bolts on this side, line them up, get them lined up here, and then start threading them in just like so on the back and on the front. And this is the time to make sure that it says forward and it's pointing towards the front of the vehicle. So now that I've got those in a little bit, I'm just going to make it a little bit tighter. Careful not to hit the top like that right there. So get those in. Just enough so that they'll hold like this. Now I can go to the other side and get those ones in. Alright, so here on the other side we're going to do the same thing. I've got my black bolts that are 5mm. Line them up and start screwing them into the hole just like that and this is why we leave these two bottom ones they're silver 
when you put it together, it'll leave them loose so you can get them to fit correctly. So now we can screw both of these all the way in nice and tight. And then we'll tighten the bottom ones right under here. We'll, we'll tighten those with the little four millimeter Allen key. So let me finish tightening these two and then I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. And that'll make sure that these are nice and tight against the rail. And then we'll tighten those bottom ones to make sure that the bar in the middle is tight. All right, so now underneath here, I know it's kind of hard to see. I can see it in the reflection of the paint. Those two bolts, we need to tighten those down now. And that is going to secure the bar between the two brackets. So let's do that right quick. And there we go. It is already successfully installed on the on the back and now we just got to do the front so it's a it's the same process i'm going to go ahead and start a time lapse for you guys show you that the first thing we will do is get these black bolts lined up again with those holes and the holes on the mount on both sides just like we did on the other side and we will be good to go. Catch up to you guys here in just a second. All right, there we go. All the bolts are tightened down. Everything says it's facing forward. That should be facing forward. Everything's nice and tight up here. I can wiggle the whole car based on that. So, here you guys go. Look at it from the rear. So remember, you can adjust where you want to put that. There are different uh, positions that you can move it up to. And you would just do the same thing. The look from the front. So there we have it. Those light bars, not light bars, I'm sorry. Those crossbars are now fully installed on our 2016 Ford Explorer and they're looking fine. Now I can't wait, can't wait to get a roof rack, a carriage rack for this to put up top and complete this, this look. This, these are gonna come in handy for us for sure. Cause we do a lot of hauling. And so this stuff's gonna work out great. So I wanna give a shout out to Yida, Yida uh, company for sending these out to us. Check the description below guys, because I have a link to this product in the description. So if you've got a 2016 to 2019 Ford Explorer, you too can also have these crossbars. And these I would highly suggest for all metal, totally, they're gonna be nice and sturdy. How are you tied up here? Again, these are the LED Kingdom from Yida. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If it helped you out, definitely smash that thumbs up. Don't forget, click that red subscribe button. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. With your guys' help, we're gonna get there in no time at all. Have a great day, and God bless. Sunday, November 7th. Worship me in the beauty of holiness. All true beauty reflects some of who I am. I am working my ways in you. The divine artist creating lovely loveliness, loveliness within your being. My main work is to clear out debris and clutter, making room for my spirit to take full possession. Collaborate with me in this effort by being willing by being willing to let go of anything I choose to take away 
I know what you need, and I have promised to provide all of that abundantly. Your sense of security must not rest in possessions or in things going your way. I am training you to depend on me alone, finding fulfillment in my presence. This entails being satisfied with much or with little, accepting either as my will for the moment instead of grasping and controlling. You are learning to re release and receive. Cultivate this receptive stance by trusting me in every situation.